Hey guys, today I'm gonna talk about polishes that I bought because of the hype. Now, some of them I like, other ones not so much. And the first one is Essie's Bikini Sotini. We all know the hype that surrounded this. I gotta say, I was one of the people that were really disappointed. There's nothing really special about this, in my opinion. Is it pretty in the bottle? Yes, very pretty. But when I get it on my nails, it just doesn't wow me. I actually prefer Sinful Colors Kiss Goodnight. This was a part of the Candy Johnson Vintage Anime Collection. I just reviewed it, and I will leave a link to that in the description box. But this one is a lighter version, and I, I just... You can actually see the shimmer in this. I mean, you do gotta look closely, but at least it shows up. On Essie's Bikini Sotini, it, it just doesn't. The next one is Zoya's Dream. There was, and still is, a lot of hype surrounding this. So of course I had to go pick it up. Just a blue polish with holographic scattered glitter. It's very beautiful, but I gotta say, I haven't been able to really appreciate that holographic glitter because of the way that the weather's been here lately, but I think I'm gonna really enjoy this during the summertime. Next up is another Essie and this is Chinchilla. This is just one of your taupe shades. It's very pretty, very neutral, appropriate for any occasion. I'm kind of meant about it. I mean, it doesn't wow me. It's supposed to be a bland kind of color. I'm just not feeling that color right now. But I mean, if you're looking for this, it's a great one. All right, you guys, this next one, I'm gonna be stepping on some toes. I saw that this was quite popular in the collab, uh, the top 16 of 2016, and that is Rich Girls and Poe Boys. I gotta say, I don't really like this one. I know, I don't like it. In the photos online, it looked like there was a bit of a neon hint to it. Nope, nope, it's just a blue. Can somebody explain it to me? Can somebody explain why people like this so much? I, I don't like it. And this last one is Bite Me. I should have included this in my Pretty Ugly Polishes. This is very beautiful. It has a neon touch to it and has gold shimmer. It dries matte. It's very pretty, but the application is so awful. So awful. So if you have been considering buying this one, just keep that in mind. So those are all the polishes. No, they're not. So those are the polishes, some polishes I should say, that I have picked up because of the hype. Let me know what polishes you've picked up um, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!